happening last night. A hat trick by Elena Spagdela helped Soweto giant Orlando Pirates set up a Telkom knockout semi final date with Supersport United in Twane on the 20th of November. Kaiser Chiefs will host Platinum Stars in the other last four tie on the 2nd of November. Joining us in studio is soccer journalist Minawa Nkloko to chat a little bit about uh, some of what happened last night. Bakhtela, no one can stop him. Really, he's emphasized that winning streak and that energy that must be in the team at this point. No, most definitely. Um, you know, um, I, think, I think we've always known that Pirates had quality. Um, the missing link was always up front, somebody who, with a ruthless streak, somebody who could actually put away all of those, all those opportunities that uh, they create. And I think he's really coming to the fore and he's showing exactly what he can do because this man, I mean, based on what we saw last night, um, I mean, uh, I, I heard him talk about the quality of the crossing that is coming from the wingers. I mean, he's really going to benefit from that. And, I mean, think about it, Paris have slowly played two games in the league this season, so... And this is a team that is firing on all cylinders, and I think it's based on what they've been doing on the continent. And uh, I, think, I think they are really onto something. Paris is definitely a team that's, uh, that is on the rise, especially ahead of the W on Saturday. What does the result and the performance from last night actually tell us about, so, uh, about the Soweto Derby on Saturday? Wow, you know what? It, it, it puts a lot of things now. Now we really, we really have a, a match on our hands. I, I'm sure even, uh, even Chiefs, when they watched what, what, what actually transpired last night, um, they know that they, they are in with the game. A lot has been said about their travelling and the possibility of fatigue and, and all of these um, hopping on this plane and sleeping in hotels and all of that on the continent. But it doesn't look like it's having an effect on this team because they just keep on winning and winning. And I mean, if, 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 if they can get past Chiefs or p perform anything close to what they did against uh, Arrows last night, um, I think why 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 in store for one hell of a match on Saturday. And then, of course, you have a SuperSport United that must go up against Orlando Pirates mm -hmm. in the semi-final. This is a team that's that's given them a bit of problem in the past. Um, I really don't expect them to to just roll over and play dead at their feet. Uh, I expect it to be a tough match, uh, nonetheless. Um, I mean, it was a great throw. I mean, for the longest time when I was watching that throw, I thought, oh no, don't tell me that another derby is coming up here because there was always that possibility that we could have another one. But then it didn't work out that way. We may still get it if they both progress to the final. So who knows? I mean, this game, this is a game. I, you know, South Africans don't seem to get enough of this match. It's, it's very funny like that. Uh, I don't know how many times the seasons where we really see a lot of them during the course of the season, but they still pack that stadium. Absolutely, and it's mm. going to be packed once again come Saturday. But let's speak about the other semi-final, which mm. will see Chiefs hosting Platinum Stars. Now, Platinum mm. Stars are a team that have already won a trophy, mm. and the way that they played against Mamelodi Sundowns, you really can't kind of cut them out, cut out the possibility that they could claim two trophies this season. Most definitely. I mean, I mean, here we are talking about the possibility of the derby, but there's still a small, small matter of Super Sport on the other side, and the small matter of uh, Platinum Stars on the other side. I mean. They could may well cast themselves in the role of party pupils, and they and they can't do it. Uh, trust me, this is a team. I don't think they fear anybody. This is how they play. You saw them against Sundowns a couple of days ago. So uh, I don't think they fear anybody. And Chiefs still need to uh, negotiate past them um, to get to that final. So um, this, the, for me, I think I think it's it's evenly balanced, especially with this cup COVID. I think I was I was sitting here with you last week, and I said this cup the problem with these cup games is that you can't predict them. Mm. You can't ever be certain and say, look, based on what is on the team sheets, this is probably the way it will pan out. So I think this is just the beauty of cup football. Yeah, and it certainly does set up a tantalizing mm. match come Saturday. It's going to be an awesome derby. Who do you rate to win it and the scoreline? <laughs> uh, uh, all right. He doesn't okay. want to lose his house just yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's not quite a betting man. Minawa and Kloko, thank you very much for coming to chat to us about football and all footballing matters. I'm sure we'll have you in the studio once again. Pleasure.